three superstars consecutively, and she's a graduate student. I mean, if that does not deserve a championship match, I don't know what does. But again, fans, that is just a rumor. We also understand that the our our in-ring veteran, close to legend, um, uh, Alicia, who is the trainer, the We Fitness Guru, if you will, the We Fitness Guru and the trainer of Eliza Beth, she could very well get a spot in this match too. The fourth spot. It's any, honestly it's virtually anybody's game. And that, my friends, is going to happen next week on FPW Championship Wrestling. So stay tuned and stay ahead of the game, fans. Speaking of Eliza Beth, she competes in a match with Christina Chris Calloway. And this match will also, deter this match will also determine the stipulation. Oh yeah, there is a stipulation in the match, in the, in, the, in the main event at Supercard 15. And one of the stipulations is a 30 minute Iron Man match, or in this case, an Iron Person match. Not Iron Man, not Iron Woman, Iron Person. That's very, <laughs> that's very unique. Never heard that before in my life. Or the other option could be under MMA FQW Elite Rules. That all depends on the stipulation. If Christina wins, she picks the match. If Eliza Beth wins, then Brandon Wolf gets to pick the stipulation. Brandon Wolf is not here tonight. He wants to meet Christina at the pay-per-view event when she's fresh and ready. So hell, win, lose, or draw, hey, Callaway is gonna meet the Wolfman. That's just the way it's gonna be. And now Daphne and Jersey Jackson with both specials like ready to be deployed. Will we see a special tonight? Uh, we would have. My goodness, a running big boot right in the face, square into the face of the starlet Jersey Jackson. Come on, ladies, land your moves. Oh, watch, look at that. Perfectly timed. That was perfectly timed. Alaska and Nebraska go over the cover now on Daphne. Will the country girls go to... Ah, oh, forget my sentence. Forget my sentence. It doesn't make a damn difference. The match is still on. It'd be very interesting to see Brandon Wolf and Christina in an iron person match of 30 minutes. The, the individual that scores the most points wins. I mean, the last time we saw Brandon Wolf in one of those, he got his ass chewed out, but somehow, some way, a very mysterious entity was brewing into the ring, causing. Titanium to not perform very well, and that was all thanks to the White Rabbits. That was last year at the uh, Homecoming pay-per-view. Or as a matter of fact, my apologies fans, that was actually at Death Row in October, so over a year and a month. True story, fans, true story. Now, it's the only time we ever saw Brandon Wolf get pinned in, a, in an actual legitimate match. 
but he never lost the match because he scored 13 points to 12. It was 12-1, I think it was. I think it was, yeah, it was 12-1 for Titanium. And all of a sudden, the lights went out. A strange, scary video appeared on the screen, and Titanium was feeling completely vulnerable, not performing at his absolute best. It was really, really crewmy. But these things do happen. These things do happen. And as a result, Titanium lost. Brandon Wolf remains the. The, the uh, Universal Champion, and about a month later, at Supercard 14, Brandon Wolf defeats Big Bill Buzz Chase and Curse. Curse, who was the World Heavyweight Champion, the Wolfman unified both championship titles. And pretty much the World Heavyweight Championship title belt is now known as the Gauntlet Championship Belt. Very amazing! Very amazing historic stuff here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling in less than a year. But this intergender, you know, contest is amazing. Because these women, these women have potential. They are starred athletes. They're not just going to compete for the women's championship or even find a partner and win the women's tag team championships. They're going to go for the main titles. They're going to go for the main event. They're going to try and get to the posters. Make FPW meant for both men and women. And that's amazing. That says a lot about our athletes here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling. Sometimes it's not all about, you know, the legends and the dream matches and the classic this and the classic that. It's also about exhibiting women and what they can do in the ring. All right, there he dropped. That was a spinning toehold. Jersey Jackson once again attacks the referee, but look at this double team! And the match is still happening! The referee is still allowing this match to continue in triple threat rules! But we have over 14 minutes remaining. And this is quite the match, fans, I gotta be honest with you. This is quite the match. And they're all one halves. So unfortunately, this game is not compatible to have six people in the ring who would have all three tag teams. That would be too much action. Too much action. This is enough as it is. These three are literally tearing each other apart to get a shot at those women tag team titles in 10 days. 10 days, ladies and gentlemen. Super card 15. Nice! Oh, wait a minute, there's Lobotomy. The Fish on Man Bridge. Wait a second. Daffy now setting up Jersey Jackson for the Rochambeau! Oh my god. The Rochambeau. Daphne was on a roll right there, fans. It could have been their night. All three of these divas. Actually, not even. Alaska Nebraska was never part of the new class. She was a fan that emerged from the audience, just taking part, exhibiting her wrestling abilities has been a huge name out of herself, became Britney Beers back in 2012. Not really her finest hour, or her finest year. But uh, Daphne, Jersey Jackson, both uh, stars of the new class, class of 2012.